Here we are going to stand on the port switch. And it's on page 204. Okay. We will start with direct speech. Okay. What does it mean, direct speech and the port of speech? Why do we categorize them into two, two groups? Hmm? Direct speech, someone is talking about something and you are taking that exact words and putting quotation without changing anything, without changing any word, without changing any tense, any structure, you report it. But it is called direct speech because we don't change anything. And we use quotation. Let's focus on the He said, I don't like our fields. I don't like our fields, he said. So in the second sentence, someone is told, saying this sentence, he said, I don't like our fields. And you uh, you you direct uh, you directly talk about that sentence without changing it. I don't like our films, he said. But don't forget to use quotation. It is important. You can also use this for this structure in your essays or in your writings. Uh, let's go. So, so basically, we categorize into three groups: reporting statements, reporting questions, reporting imperatives. We will, in general, focus on these three issues. And first of all, reporting statements. So, basically, uh, before starting and mentioning about the changing in the tenses, because as you all know, and you can remember from our previous classes, for reporting statements, which it also can be you know, seen as a gossip, uh, reporting words, right? We have some reporting words. Tell and say. They are widely used ones. So according to tell and say, we change the text. What does it mean? I want you to write down a rule, it's a golden rule for reporting statements. Please write down as a note, please. Uh, if we use present perfect tense, simple present tense, and future tense, build, for the reporting words <coughs> talent said. Right? Clear? We do not change the tense. We do not change the tense. What does it mean? Let's let's look at the examples. For example, Paul says he is not so keen to see that field. What is the direct speech here? This one, right? Paul says, I am not so keen to see that field. This is my direct speech. And I want to report it, right? I want to report it. In the second sentence, I'm reporting it. But there is something different. I say, Paul says. I say, Paul has told. I say, Paul will tell you. So with such kind of reporting words, with perfect tense, simple present tense, and will. We do not change the tense. He is, he is, he is. Just like in the direct speech. We do not change the tense at all. <coughs> but there is one more thing that you have to pay attention to. It is, we change, of course, the subjects. Subject pronouns, right? And if we have any time expression, we will change as well. We will change the time expression as well. Hocam, bunun sayfa 204'te şey var, ondan farkını. 204. sayfada present simple vermiş. We work for the town council, yes. 
So, I'm sure about what? What was your question? 204'te 2 olacak. Aha. İlk örneği, present simple. Yeah, that's the second section of the this class actually. We will study on it. We we have a chart just like in our book. I will show you. But later now. So everybody understand, right? Is it clear? This rule is is important. So the first rule is direct speech in quotation. You take the exact words and report without changing anything. This is direct speech. In the second second rule, we have learned that there is a simple tense, there is a perfect tense, and will. If they are used in the reporting words, then we do not change the tense. This is the second important rule. And now we are going to go on with something that you are already familiar with. You have studied a lot before. Uh, changing the tense, right? Where are we supposed to change the tense? This is also significant and welcome to the tense before. This is a very well designed chart uh, on which you can see a great comparison for the changing of the tenses for both from direct speech to reported speech. For example, simple present tense simple past. becomes simple past tense yes. for reporting. If you want to report a simple present tense sentence, then you have to change the tense to simple past tense. I never get up late, he said. He said that he never got up late, right? We change the tense. Present continuous tense past becomes tense. past continuous tense. I'm working on my thesis, he said. He said that he was working on his thesis. Ah, there's something wrong. Yeah, his, I'm sorry. <laughs> his thesis. So, uh, for, for such kind of reported speech, reporting statements, uh, there are some things that you have to be really careful. One of them is changing the tense, as in this chart. The, the second thing is changing the subject and object pronouns, right? For example, I am working on my thesis, his thesis. Possessive adjective changes. Don't forget to change that. And we have also time expressions. We will look at and check those time expressions and the changing from direct speech to reporting, reporting statements uh, in another chart. Like, uh, present perfect tense. I have applied for a job, he said. He said that he had applied for a job. So, present perfect tense becomes past perfect tense. And present perfect continues. I have been working for two hours. He said that he had been working for two hours. It becomes past perfect continuous tense. And simple past tense becomes past perfect tense. I stayed at home last night, he said. He said he had stayed at home the previous night. This is the example, this is the changing of uh, the time expression. The previous night. Because in the direct speech, we have the past night, right? And in the reporting form, we have the previous night. So this is also important. Don't forget to change the time expressions while you are reporting this statement. We don't say that. We said that. Mm -hmm. That Do we use the omission or? That is optional. It doesn't matter. You just you can call it as omission or something else. Uh, but the point is. That is optional. You can either write that or not write. It's your choice. And lastly. 
lastly, for the tenses, past continuous tense, we have past continuous tense becomes past perfect continuous. So, actually, we have a pair of similar tenses becoming the same tense while reporting. Which one are similar? Which one are similar? Uh, past continuous, present perfect, continuous. They are becoming past perfect continuous. That's the same. And we have now. Uh, if the tense, the first tense, uh, past perfect continuous, we, should, uh, we can change that, right? Yes, exactly. Thank you for reminding. For past perfect sentences, if you want to report a past perfect sentence, there is no change because. Past perfect is already the past form of past tense. Something happened, two past events, one of them happened earlier, as you can remember. And there is no change for past perfect structures and This is the following chart uh, showing us, demonstrating us the again changing from structures for structures. And these are to be work. If you want to use be going to, to be going to, and is are going to become was we're going to for reporting structures. <coughs> Shall and will going to be should and would, can going to be could, and could. Yeah. yeah. There is one more notification I have to mention about at this point. Please don't confuse could with something that we have learned before, could have verb 3. Do you remember that structure? We studied it with, during the models, right? So, could have verb 3 structure is explaining something like a possibility in the past. But here, in this chart, we have could as past ability. So while reporting a past ability with could, there is no change in the reporting form. And must have to becomes had to, but we have a further categorization here, just uh, particularly for must, for the usage of part, must. Uh, here, we can say that must and have to becomes have to, but here must is used for present necessary obligations. Okay. Present. For example, Alba, let me give an example and you report my sentence. It's a good idea. Uh, I must stop smoking. This is a present obligation of mine. He said that he had to stop smoking. Very good. And must and have to becomes must, have to, would have to, but must is same, right? For, for what function? Future necessity. Okay, clear? For future necessity, must is the same. There will be no change in the report. And must for the function of deduction again. Save as a problem to, but we did not have to. And may gonna be might, might will be the same, don't forget, this is also important. Might, if you have a sentence uh, stated with might in the direct speech. You will report that sentence with using, say, might. Uh, something about yes. must. Uh, what does the deduction uh, mean, particularly in modern? Uh -huh. Deduction? If anyone knows? Deduction? Yes, he was. Please give us an example. He must be at home now. Infer from something or strong advice. Mm -hmm. What is the meaning of the word deduction? Plus e. Plus 
loud and clear. If you have an evidence for. For some did you hear hmm? No? If not, please, love. We have a stroke evidence for something, and then we have a stroke evidence for that. If you have a strong evidence for something, we can make a strong... Yes. Is this the deduction? The reaction something is about related with results and uh, you infer from the point and you make a decision and uh, make a result for something. And used to, let me the same as used to in the reporting before. Any questions so far? Time expression charts, in which you can see the change from bias to the reporting statements uh, for time expressions. For example, if you have the time expression today in direct speech, you have to change it to that day. That day. That. And tonight, gonna be that yeah. night. Yesterday, gonna be the day before, but yet on the previous day. The previous day. Yeah. The day before yesterday. Two days before or two days earlier. Last week, last month, last year, last night. The previous. The previous. So the previous is popular yeah. for reporting statements. The previous week, the previous month, the previous year, etc. Yesterday morning, again, we got the previous, the previous morning. morning. Two years, two months ago, two years earlier. Two weeks before. Those are possible appropriate forms. And for tomorrow, for something future. Next day. Next day. Along. Next. The next day, the following day. Or the month after. And the day after tomorrow, I think it's also the title, the name of the movie. Yes. I don't know. It's such a movie, right? The following week, the following month, the following year. For ah, the day after tomorrow, in two days time. Sorry. And for now, we use then and immediately. Okay, I will give this chart uh, to the photo percent. Those charts will be available on your website. You can study individually. And so instead of using reporting groups like tell and say, we can also use a list of words. For reporting statements. Uh, who wants to exemplify? Who wants to use one of the verbs in the list in an example? Mehmet, can you help us? Or Ahmed? <coughs> Pick up a word. Use it in an example. You have time. Points out, uh, uh, he points out a good example <laughs> and the change to the direct speech. Uh, the lecturer points out that. Pointed out. Pointed out that. Mm -hmm. And of course, he's in the lecture. Thank you. Anyone else? Ladies? Any volunteer? You do like us. I know. Am I 
other help is from the local and we complain about this kind not So do you know the word mono? No? Some substitute. No? It's the same as Yeah, it's, it's the sound of the same in Turkish. We used it. Mehmet, what does it mean? Uh, no, I want to give an example. You want to give an example? Yes. Please. Go yeah. ahead. He admitted that uh, he no, he admitted uh, uh, making the class window. Uh -huh. He admitted that? No, no, he admitted breaking the class window. He admitted breaking the class window. Is it true? Yeah. yeah, it's possible. Now, I can see the words from that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, is the murmur the same as the wish to whisper or that's different in meaning? Mm. Something like whisper, right? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Good. 
So actually, you have something. Uh, you have reminded, reminded us something really important we have missed. Uh, what about such kind of impressions like um, the moment? Yeah, the moment. Okay. The moment. That moment, maybe. What? We change it to past. Yeah. And we say that that or those. Thank you. So this and these becomes in the reporting form that those. That and those. Yeah. Very well. Shall we go on or shall we go on with the reporting questions? This is the important question. Yeah. Uh, let's go. So for reporting questions, we have two kinds of questions, right? The first type is with question words, WH questions. The questions which are formed using with WH words. For example, why didn't you come to the party? She asked me why I had not come to the party. So here there is one significant crucial thing that you should point, uh, focus on. <coughs> For WS questions while reporting, you use the WH words and then the rest of the sentence is going to be like a non clause Do you remember non clause yes. sentences? Yes. Yeah. Exactly the same. But don't forget to change the tense. That rule, that golden rule, is still available for questions. You are changing the tenses. Just like in the chart. She inquired, she wondered, she wanted to know why I had not come to the party. So as it, in the direct speech question, it is uh, past tense. We have past perfect tense in the reporting question. Clear? This is, these are the examples for double H questions, of course. Why are you leaving so early today? My mother asked me why I was leaving so early that day. That day, right? So we are also changing the time expressions in the questions. Uh, well, what time is it? A child in the street asked me what time it was. In the direct speech question, we have the present tense, we change it to the past, we use the question word, and the rest of it will be like an answer. Or, are you coming with us? She asked me if or whether I was coming. So this is another type, right? This question is completely different because there is no question word. These questions are yes no questions. Clear? So there is only one single rule for yes no questions. We use if or whether they have the same meaning. And we change the tense. That rule is also available here. For example, are you coming with us? This is a present time direct speech sentence. In the reporting statement, you change the tense and you use if and whether. Because we don't have any question word, uh, you use if and whether instead of that. She asked me if I was coming with them. In the second example, can you speak English for example? Can you speak English? A tourist stopped me in the street and asked if, if I could speak English or whether I could speak English. So, shall we do an activity like one of you is asking a question, 
the other one is reporting that question to someone else. Who wants to get involved in such an activity? You <coughs> look so lonely. You look so enthusiastic. Seriously. Who's volunteer? Or I will become a good <laughs> There's no way out. You will do it anyway. NS is our first volunteer. The second volunteer is Matt Metz. And the third volunteer. <laughs> Who's volunteer? No one? I want to ask my head. You it's possible. Uh, then NS Mehmet Mujahid. Yeah. NS Mehmet and Mujahid. Yeah, you are doing the activity. You are asking the direct speech question. And you are reporting that sentence to Mujahid. And Mujahid looks so uh, do you have any function in this dialogue? <laughs> <laughs> and let's find the function for you. And you are reporting the same sentence to... To Neil. To Neil. Okay. Neil, you have no function here. <laughs> we are only using your name. <laughs> yeah, ask a question to him. Okay. Uh, uh, it can be either with a question words or a direct speech question or yes or no question. Are you playing with us tonight? What? Are you playing? I, are you playing with us tonight? Are you playing with us tonight? Elef Elef uh, asked if I uh, was playing them that night. Thank you. Enjoy it. Uh, you are the third person. You are talking about an S sentence, an S question, <laughs> two Mehmet's. So be careful with the pronouns. Mehmet said that uh, he was playing with them that night. Is it correct? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> do, do you have any questions? Or reporting questions? Hmm? Do you? No? Yes? Okay. So, no. In the beginning of the class, I have told you that we categorize them into three groups reporting statements, reporting questions. And now we have the last section, reporting imperatives. How can we report imperative sentences? Do you have any yes? Do you remember from the previous text? Please. Infinitives are the key. Right. We use infinitives for reporting imperative sentences. Let's focus on the yes. Study your lessons regularly, the teacher said to us. Okay? Now we are reporting it with using an infinitive. The teacher told us to study our lessons regularly. This infinitive form will be related with the direct speech of imperative sentence. Don't try to cheat during the exam, she said to us. She told us not to try to cheat during the exam. <coughs> so while talking about uh, while talking about imperative sentences for reporting statements, we say that we use infinitive, right? There is one more important aspect of this issue. It is, uh, for example, what happens if you have a sentence within an imperative sentence 
and continuing with another sentence. Students are generally confused in such examples and they do some mistakes. So I want to warn you about that. Study regularly if you want to pass the exam. So this part of the sentence, study regularly, right, is the imperative sentence. And we will record it like the teacher told us to study. Everybody understood this part. But in such exa uh, exams, quizzes, generally, uh, in this atmosphere, you are possibly confused and forget the rest of the sentence. For example, told us to study regularly if you want it. What I mean here, what I'm trying to say is don't forget to change the tense in the following sentence. When you write here, for example, infinitive, it's not over. We have the rest of the sentence. Don't forget to change the text. Like, if you want to pass the exam. Clear? Any question? Generally, 